Just, I'm a little nervous because I've never done this before. Mohammed El Shami needed a little help voting for the first time. I just always wanted to. Ever since I got my citizenship, I was like, I've heard what to do, I want to vote. Mohammed has been an American citizen for a month and a half, and within minutes, Yay. did his civic duty. I'm doing my duty as an American. You could say that there's some pride, but at the same time, I'm doing my duty. So there is a mix of both. King County Elections opened six in-person voting centers Saturday across the county to make sure every vote counts. Folks can come and see us to get registered to vote, get a replacement ballot, or use an assistive device if they need a little extra help. Election officials want every voice heard and have these machines to help voters that are low vision or blind. You can um, go with large and ultra large font. You can adjust the contrast for whatever is easiest to read. There's also an audio ballot people can listen to or use a keypad navigator with Braille. But election officials say so far voter turnout is a little slow. We are sitting at about 18 or 19 percent as of today. We have projected 45 percent turnout for this election. Um, so if we are going to get there, we're going to have a very, very busy Monday and Tuesday, it looks like. When it comes to confidence in Washington's all-male voting system, a poll commissioned this month by King 5, the Seattle Times, the University of Washington Center for an Informed Public, and Washington State University's Murrow College of Communication, conducted by Survey USA, shows a majority of people trusted the system. Of those who responded, 43% have a high amount of trust, while 16% have little trust, and 12% have no trust. Election leaders believe these in-person voting centers can help boost confidence. Anytime we can see each other in person, just helps remember that it's your friends and neighbors and community who are running our elections. Thank you, sir. Bye.